All right, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, um, first of all, when, I'm understanding I, when understanding transformations, we talked about this x plus or minus c, right? Well, this is not in that format x plus or minus c. So what I would recommend doing is first rewriting it so it looks that way. Okay? Now, here's where it kind of gets a little confusing, which I want you guys to understand. We talked about a transformation or a reflection when c was being multiplied by x, all of x. Right now, this negative is being multiplied by the x, but it's not being multiplied by the 100. It needs to be multiplied by everything for it to be a reflection. So therefore, what I can do to show that it's being multiplied by everything, I can factor out the negative 1. By factoring out a negative 1, I now obtain, because now watch, is negative 1 times x and negative 1 times negative 100 the same thing right there? Yes, but now you can see there's my c value, right? So the c value has to be multiplied by all of x. So if there is a transformation, that c value needs to be multiplied as, by as, as well. So therefore, what I can say is, yes, you have a reflection of the y-axis, but now you have a shift 100, um, 100 units to the right. Okay, and I'll give you guys actually one more example because I did this for the other class. So why don't you guys see if you can, 